Hey, this is Jen from All About the Garden where we sell long lasting gardening supplies. And I don't know if you're like me, but I cannot tell like sometimes what I'm buying and the dimensions. So I thought I'd go through and show you our trays so that you have a better idea. On my website, I sell all different kinds of trays, starting with the CD60, the tray I started with, the CD30, the CD15, the 40 cell tray, and the bottom watering tray. So we're gonna talk about all of these, the pros, the cons, what fits with what, and that way you can kind of see me holding them and know, know the ins and outs of each tray. So let's start with the original, the CD60. I think it's the best, it's the most basic. I personally have it. I have the most of these in my greenhouse right now. It was designed by Charles Dowding. And I love having a lot of people say, oh, I don't have 60 plants to plant. But if you think about it, not all of them are gonna sprout. Some of them will die in the process. You have friends, don't you? You can share your bounty with your friends. <laughs> these do nest and they nest within themselves. I have a stack of them right behind me. I wanna show you how they fit into the bottom watering tray. So they fit in just like this. I love this combination. This is my favorite combination and this is what I use right here. Going on to the second tray. My second favorite is the 15. So I use this little baby for all kinds of things like if I'm just sprouting a few things or if I'm sprouting a few flowers or if I'm staging things out I use these a lot so they also nest with themselves and they nest with the 60 so you can get these two together they nest you're gonna have it's gonna be great so with the CD 15s there is a little bit of uh, balancing you're gonna have to do with the bottom watering tray, if you wanna use the bottom watering tray, is you're gonna have to balance, see how there's two sections right here? You're gonna have to balance each section on the bottom watering tray. Like so, okay? It is a bit of a balancing act. I personally do this, it doesn't, doesn't bother me too much. It's not a, tight fit like the 60 sorry the 60 is a nice tight fit and then of course you see how it's utilizing most of the space so there's that to consider the next tray i have for you is the 30. so here we go we've got it's it's basically it is two 15s so the 30 is two 15s just like this, and it has a little space in the middle, which you could use to label. Also, all the 30s nest with all the 30s. They don't necessarily nest with the 60s, okay? So that's not gonna go in together. They do nest with the 15s. So you can put your 15s in like this, and you can have a bunch of 30s and 15s. Those go together. Another thing you're gonna, um, so here's the bottom watering tray and here's a 30. And you know how we sort of balance with the 15s? We're gonna have to do the same here, but we're not balancing on one side. We're balancing right in the middle. So we're gonna be putting them right like this. And this, when I use a 30, this is exactly how I use it, right in the middle. And I use the bottom watering tray just like so. Okay. <clears throat> the next tray we have is our 40 very very popular the 40 is used for multi sowing it's used if you want to keep your plants in the cells longer so if you're up north in canada this might be a really good tray for you it's made out of the same sturdy plastic it's got large holes at the bottom to poke out another uh, wonderful thing about the 40s is that they fit perfectly into the bottom watering tray just like so it is the tightest fit we have there's no wobble one last tray to talk about 
and that is the bottom watering tray and this tray i don't know of any other trays like this on the market they have these wonderful little divots right here that help with air pruning and it and they all of these will allow all of the trays to air prune so you can you can get one of these trays i personally <clears throat> These trays are super special because of these little divots. I don't think that there's another tray on the market like this. It allows air pruning, which is super important for your seedlings. And I like to fill this up with water, water my, my seedlings like this, dump the water out, and now we air prune with the same tray. So everything can happen in the same tray. So you can air prune and you can you can bottom water with these trays. Save on money. You could get one of these. You could, you know, dip all of your trays into it and then air prune by using, say, like a cookie sheet or just basically like a sheet with holes or like a shelving unit with holes in it, you know, like a wire mesh shelving unit. You could use that to air prune and just use this to bottom water. Or you could have, each of these trays could have their own setup. It's up to you what you, your desires and what you want, what your setup is gonna be like. So I hope this helps because I know sometimes, you know, on the internet, it's just hard. Like, is this gonna fit into this? Is this gonna, do this and you really want to feel secure about what you're buying what it looks like before you spend money um, so thank you so much for watching if you like any of these videos would you like and subscribe it really helps and um yeah have a wonderful day and happy gardening